Hey guys, so if you watched my previous video, you know that we're going to be breaking down the Alien Covenant trailer. Let's get into it. Um, excuse the loud music, I'm going to turn the volume up very loud here. Okay, this is going to be pretty loud, I do apologise. Should I tell them to turn it down? Nah, it's okay. It's okay, have I got this? Right, so the first thing we see is... If you watch the trailer with me on a separate thing, the first thing you'll see is bloody footprints. But these footprints don't look... They don't look normal. Um, kind of like... Like that? I don't know. Without this finger here, there's a... I can't describe it, but they don't look normal. So the next one got is banging, so you can tell there's some sign of distress. So we've got someone running and there's a door locked, which looks to be like the med bay, very much like the Sular, um, not Sularka, the uh, Nostromo, slightly similar med bay, where it's all white inside, you've got a little bed, same scenario basically. Yeah. Um, another person's locked in there, another woman, I feel sorry for her because, well, she's probably going to be the first one to die, let's face it. Actually no, she's probably the second one to die, first person to die would be the poor victim, of the bat burster coming out. Sarah's penis, oh crap! <laughs> Every time I see that, it makes me want to cringe, but in a good way because of just how horrific he looks. He starts seizing. So, the first thing you see then with this guy is he's seizing. You see him from the front, he's all flailing about. He can't control himself, obviously, because he's in so much freaking pain because there's a fucking monster trying to come out of his back. Um, and then when you see it, uh, the bulge, his back is basically bulging. You you guys can see that, right? Yeah. You can see yeah. his back bulging. It uh, weird. Yeah, it is weird, but there's an alien coming out yeah, of him, so you know. His spine's a bit like yeah, so even there. they can see. His spine is kind of like, instead of his spine being like that, it's like that. It's bulging out. Um, and you can clearly see, like, back ribs, the rib, like, because the rib cage is also goes at the back. You can sort of, you can see bits of that. You can see some of the shoulder blades. You can see quite a bit. <laughs> Yep, then we see it coming out and basically his skin's splitting and something's coming out of there. Yes, it's and pretty. And then there's like, there's blood just shooting. Yeah, there's blood, that's right, there's blood shooting there's everywhere. Alien. Well, we don't know. God no. There's a new creature in it called a oh, Neomorph. It looks like yeah. it's his back. That is his back. No, it's like his... as in it's the monster's out. back, like it's got spines on it. Yeah, I see what you mean, because the spine didn't look right when it started, so we have yeah. that. <laughs> oh God, was that, did I just see something come out of it? I saw something then. I just saw something pop out the spine. Yeah, I saw something pop out. Like a little, I don't know, it's like the little pointed thing. I discussed it in my previous video. This part, you just see it suddenly jut out ever so slightly. You just see it jut out ever so slightly. Yeah, yeah. Just keep it down, you guys. You really shouldn't be in the video. <laughs> so... We do have, I do believe this is the Neomorph. I have solid reason to believe this is the Neomorph emerging. Sorry, Facebook messages. Ooh, come on. Um, so I do have solid belief that this is the Neomorph emerging. Uh, again, like I said in my previous video, it has been confirmed that one will also come out of a man's throat or woman comes out of another person's throat, which is going to be a lot bloodier than this, but not as disgusting. <laughs> We have a person here holding a knife, which is probably going to be a Neil. Which is, let's face it, the first thing a Neil Morph's going to do is attack somebody. After it's got itself together, kind of got up, shook in its head, realised it's just been born. The first thing it's going to do is going to want to rip somebody's head off. Uh, so that's probably why she's holding a knife. Or well, either that, or she's scared completely shitless. I'd say it's probably both. <laughs> Alright, so it's from Ridley Scott. No shit. text i'm getting ridiculous about text so we have david here well not actually david i've done a bit of research and this is actually a new android i um let's see i can't remember the name so i'm going to google alien coven i believe it's called walter i might be wrong alien coven. i want to try and break this down properly for you guys so i'm not going to be doing the best of jobs let's face it Yes, Walter and David. Walter's a synthetic android, his sister crew, the Covenant, and David was an earlier, less advanced one. Formerly crew member to destroy Prometheus. <laughs> so we have him, and he looks sort of off the camera. 
Right, next we get a very, very long ship. Uh, it's blatantly obvious that this is the Covenant ship. There's no question about it. Whether it's as similar as the, um, the Nostromo. Sorry, I'm about to sneeze. Oh god, I hate that film. You're about to sneeze and you don't. <laughs> as I say, where it part of it detaches. Uh, where in this case it was the oil rig, the Nostromo, and then the Narcissus. Uh, it could be a very similar scenario to that because we do see a smaller ship. Oh, here's Walter again. <laughs> and the new woman who is Catherine Waterson as Daniels. I, I believe that's what her name is. Yes, it's Catherine Waterson. She plays Daniels, who is a terraforming expert aboard the Covenant. So she might play, well, no, there's no, no, not might. She will play a very big role in this um for all you know we don't know what it is yet there's been theories that she's ripley's mother i don't personally think that's true because by the time the space jockey ship has crashed down on 12v426 and had the chest burst to come out of it the, ch the actual space jockey in the suit is fossilized and they do quote that in the original alien that it is fossilized um so this is probably like maybe a hundred years before Alien. We don't know. All we know in timeline wise is this is, is, te is Prometheus is ten years before Covenant. That's what we know. Right next, but we have Danny McBride here. He looks all right actually. He doesn't look too bad. I think he's going to be a promising one. I know James Franco is in it as well, but we've not seen it. Um, we've not really seen him in the trailers yet, which kind of sucks really. But oh well. Um. Uh, yeah, yeah, I just saw the smaller ship then. The smaller ship uh, detaches. So what? Uh, basically, you've got the long section here, which is probably a big space booster thing. Uh, maybe a space unit or something. Then you've got the... Um, what is it now? The uh, Then you've got the main ship itself. Uh, flying over to the planet. And then the crew are coming off, and they have guns on them. God, that landscape looks beautiful. That is a nice looking landscape. Oh, oh, spores. What look to be weird fruit like things. That's weird. Here we have the spore. And it's basically just entered his ear. So we know what's going to happen in that aspect. You sure about this, Captain? How do you mean? I don't know what the fuck's out there. Very true. Oh, we're right. Here's a more prominent feature from Alien and Prometheus, the derelict ship, or the bone ship as I call it, because in one of the games I played Alien Trilogy, it described this thing as being made out of bone, so since then I've called it the derelict bone ship, but just for simplicity's sake, we call it the derelict. Do I see? Um, hold on. Sorry about that, it's New Year, my, and uh, my family are all coming up, because ACDC's playing in the background, and my stepfather just wanted to remind me of the fact of how we saw those guys live. Yes, it was very good. Now, as I was saying, the derelict has been a prominent thing in this Alien universe. It's been quite an icon of course NECA cine machines have done one I'm upset I was obsessed with this ship like when I first saw it and when I played Aliens um, Alien Trilogy I wanted to know the origins, origins of this thing and I'm getting close to there which is satisfying so we've seen it now and for all we know this paradise may be the engineers home so they might have built this ship there I mean you know but there's more to it than just that there's the alien eggs right let's get back into it <laughs> Right, so we have someone crawling in and we have them finding what looks to be the chair and the control pod bit. Uh, you know, the bit where David sits down and he plays that little flute and then presses all those weird squishy buttons. Um, we have that chair there. You can just about see the actual spike pilot chair, but it's, it's so dark and all you just see is a couple of flashlights. So that's that really. We see some dog tags. Some people have rumoured those are shores. Uh, I can see where they're coming from with that. Uh, personally, I don't know. I have no views on that, personally. Um, I don't know. Before we know, it could be. Don't know. Next, we have an egg. Their face sugar egg. But this is a very different design. Uh, this is a very different design. I see if I can show a Google image of it. Um, it is a very different design, as you can see. I like the design of it, it's very nice. Also, we've seen this, I don't know what this is. Uh, something about egg morphing? 
So, that's that. Um, I do believe that the egg morphing could be a strong, prominent thing, because it happened in Alien Isolation. How do I know this? Well, one xenomorph, it then made um, a hive, and then made loads of eggs, because there's multiple xenomorphs in it. As, as once in the game, I did encounter two xenomorphs, and one knocked me down, the other grabbed me and killed me. So there's a bit of teamwork on their part, kind of gangbanging in a way, which is bad. Uh, and there was multiple eggs and face of so and there was people hived up. Uh, dead people, of course. So the theory is that the xenomorph, may, only if it's on its own, will make its own eggs, can be proven correct. Um, I do believe that is, that can be true. Uh, let's get on. <laughs> Alright, so here we have the face hugger about to pop out. Yeah, it's back. And I just popped it right back to the beginning again by accident. So here we go, back to where we were. Um, yeah, face hugger's back. It jumps on him. Uh, I'm interested to see how the face huggers originate. Probably the same way as the xenomorph. But there's going to be probably four films in total. Prometheus, Alien Covenant, and then maybe two more. Um, I don't know, but there's plenty of time to fulfill the origins of the Xenomorph, but, you know, I always feel like there's going to be that one little bit that's missing. Um, you know, I don't know. <sighs> no one knows. Uh, but, like, for all we know, Covenant may give us all the answers we need, and the other sequels are just going to be follow-ups to lead up to Alien. Or, they're going to give us it in little chunks of the Xenomorph origin, and then keep giving us little bits in in the other two movies. Which I hope, I, I don't know, uh, I really don't know. Part of, the sensible part of me says, yes, do that, to keep viewers, in, to keep viewers enticed. But the silly part of me just wants to know everything straight away, says just give it all to us in Alien Covenant. But, you know, whatever they decide to do, the script's already been written, so whatever's done, we're just gonna have to accept. Uh, if we like it, great. If we don't, fair enough, you know, not everyone's into the same thing. Um, so, you know, that, that's happened. Like, it's like to say, art is subjective, uh, not object. <laughs> right, so we have the main ship exploding, which is obviously not good. <laughs> we have the main ship on the ground, or a landing craft, I can't remember which one it is now, and it's just exploded. So, yeah, you can pretty much imagine that's not going to go down well. And <laughs> uh, we have a guy with a hook. <laughs> now, this is the part that's raised quite a bit of controversy. We have a young woman here with a gun. Now that's not the controversial part. The controversial part is a lot of people seem to have said they can see the, the quote unquote neomorph in the background. Me, I haven't seen it yet. I have not spotted it. If, if you f truly believe it's there and you have full evidence to back that up, I'm jealous of you because I cannot see the fucking thing. Um, yeah, I, oh, 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 oh. I just saw it. I just saw it right there. It's very small. I just saw it there. I have just seen it now. It was tiny. Right. I can back it up, guys. That is something there. There is something there. I was expecting it to be, like, quite big. I didn't expect it to be so small. So there is something there. That's something new. I didn't actually expect that we'd catch it on video. So I'm happy about that. So we've just seen it. It's very fast. You have to catch it. And then there's an explosion afterwards. The ship comes out, and that's this is probably what starts the fire. She fires like grenade launcher, and then it probably blows up the whole ship. Uh, she then comes out burning. <laughs> Danny McBride's in a bit of distress. Um, Catherine, what's her face? Waterston is running about. Then you got more landing. Then you got more of those vehicles, the ground vehicles that saw in Prometheus, the big bugs. People getting drifted away, screaming. And what looks to be the inside of a, um, I don't know, uh, some engineer like thing. And here's the part everybody loved about the trailer. The shower scene. I know you're thinking, two people getting clingy with each other in a shower. No biggie. But it's what follows afterwards that's awesome. You see the famous shadow, you see the tail, and then... You see its face, you see the face, you see the dome, you see the shiny teeth, you can tell by my voice I'm getting excited. Whenever I see a xenomorph in something I've never seen in other words, this movie, I'm getting pretty excited because we're getting close to finding out just where these nasty bastards come from. And it's more alien action, so that's brilliant. And then she's covered in blood, so yeah. And then it says alien, and then it says covenant. 
Uh, is there any more, or is that a set? No, it's just coming out with the credits. So that was the trailer breakdown. Uh, probably not the best one I have ever done. If it's my first trailer breakdown. If I ever do more of these, I'll get more um, more experience with them. But as my first one, I'd say it's okay. Uh, hold, um, hold on. Um, yeah. Um, so that's been it. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.